still hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? There's money everywhere. There's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the Name. Hey yo, what's going on right now? You watch a casino as a name, and I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys about the hot shot trucking business. In case you don't know, I have my own trucking authority and I do run a hot shot truck. So a lot of you guys have been asking, how do we find customers? How do we find loads? I, that's a very good question. Um, I did cover it before in my Q&A video, but I figured I'd go ahead and cover it again because I still get that question a lot. Also, I also get a question about how do we get paid? Basically, how do we get paid for the loads after we deliver them? So, all right, this is actually pretty simple. Um, th those two questions are actually pretty simple. Um, there's several ways that we find loads. One is through load boards. Load boards, load boards, load boards. It's, it's, it's hundreds of load boards out there. Um, there's load boards for some of everything from moving boats to moving cars to moving houses to moving farm equipment. There's load boards for some of everything. Um, Cars is usually on central dispatch. That's what we usually use if we're going to move cars to central dispatch. Um, I also use low board one, one, two, three low board. I found it pretty helpful. Uh, and there's plenty of other low boards that you can either pay for or you can either join for free. So there's a lot of low boards out there. Another way that we find loads is basically through a dispatcher. So a dispatcher, you hire a dispatcher, the dispatcher finds loads, they work with brokers, they find you loads, they get you some loads, and then they dispatch a truck to it. Another way is direct from brokers. Some brokers have, if you build relationships with them, they may just contact you directly and say, hey, I got uh, some loads, I'm just interested, if you're still interested in moving some loads with me because I really liked your service or something like that. And so another way that we may also find loads is direct from consumer I mean not consumer but uh, direct from client whatever so um, sometimes a client will actually contact you directly and request that you um, you know that they like your service or they request your services directly and you can book directly with the client um, it's not uncommon for your truck to be sitting somewhere or you to be taking a car off and somebody to come over and say hey you know, can you come move my car or can you come move some cars for me? I got two cars here. I got. It's not uncommon for that to happen. Um, we have also definitely, uh, personally, I have definitely negotiated things direct with um, client. And also we have, uh, so how we get paid, we get paid um, several ways. There's in, there's, there's cash, check, uh, I'm sure money order and of course direct deposit and so or wire transfers. So oh, there's also com checks, which is still a check. But so if you if you go deliver a load, right? You go deliver a load. Usually loads don't pay for 30 to 60 to 90 days. So usually most people go through a factoring company. And basically, what a factoring company is, they're a company that's they kind of kind of, I want to say, it's almost like a, I don't want to say a payday loan, but what they'll do is they'll give you the money in advance instead of you having to wait 30, 60 days. They'll give you the money up front for the load that you just delivered, um, and they'll take a percentage. Uh, it could be 3 to 5 percent, something like that. So they'll take a percentage of whatever that load is, but you don't have to wait the 30 to 60 to 90 days for you to get the money back. All right, so in order to get paid for a load, though, once you deliver the load, the, the driver it should receive a BOL, a bill of lading, signed by the receiver. So it gets dispatched. The driver goes, picks up the load, takes the load to wherever location they're supposed to be dropping it off. They drop it off. Whoever is receiving that load from the driver it should sign a BOL. Once they get the BOL signed, the BOL comes back to the back office or to my back office, and then we create an invoice and then that invoice is then sent to the factoring company and then the factory company factoring company pays us within 24 hours usually by the end of the day they'll go ahead and transfer the money once we've invoiced them so
So, and as long as everything lines up, because they also need, they basically factoring companies don't trust everybody because they're trusting the word of the person who, sh who, who delivered the, um, not even the delivery, they're trusting that the company will pay them back. And so if they don't trust the company, they won't pay some of those invoices and you have to invoice the company directly. Because what you'll do is you'll send the invoice to, say, whatever your factoring company is, mine is OTR Capital, but you send the invoice to OTR Capital, OTR Capital takes the invoice and then sends that whole packet to whoever should be paying the money on that, but they go ahead and give you the money up front. So you got to be careful with that. Make sure that they um, they pass whatever credit check that OTR Capital um, that OTR Capital has for making sure that they trust that agency will pay them so that they'll go ahead and pay you. Because you could end up still having to go direct to that company and and uh, trying to invoice and having to wait 30 to 60, 90 days. Also. Uh, we received calm checks. I received the calm check. I had no idea what it was. Calm check. Uh, I had to actually go pick up the calm check from. It's like you get a you get a you get like a wire transfer number. You go pick up a calm check from. Well, I went to go pick up a calm check from a a truck stop. Now they could have cashed it out, but they would have charged me. So what I did was I just picked up the blank calm check. They gave it to me for free. They gave me like three of them. I took it filled it out at my bank. My bank called this number. They got some kind of other authorization number and they deposited the money in my account. But it was a very different process from what I, anything I had ever been through. Um, you also receive checks, especially when you're moving cars around. You receive checks a lot. Uh, it may be $250 on delivery, so as soon as you drop the car off, they write you a check for $250. And so your driver might be riding around with a couple checks until he gets back in for you to get the checks from him so you can deposit them. Uh, also, cash. There's, there's sometimes cash involved with delivering cars. A lot of cars actually just, you know, paying cash. We have delivered some loads that were like cargo loads that actually paid by check. That's not usually how it happens, but it does happen. Anyway, I hope that you found value in this video. And if you have any other questions of the sort, drop them in the comment section. And we'll try to, I'll try to get those, those things answered. And also, there's plenty of truckers hanging out in my com you know, on my videos. So this, this community, man, we, we all rock together. So, you know, I salute them. I check out their videos. They check out mine. And so we have a community here. So if there's any truckers who can answer any of those questions for you guys, drop them in the comment box, man. I salute you. We almost to 17,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Let's keep this channel pushing. I'm out. Their hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.